Hi. Howdy. Hello. Is there a bee in my vehicle? Then I moved my car to the opposite side of my driveway because my neighbor's gardening man was outside and I was self-conscious. <laughs> Why do I look like the love child of a cantaloupe and your grandfather's yellowing big toe right now? Um, actually I know the answer. The answer is because I gave myself bangs at the beginning of this high holy quarantine season and I'm still suffering the consequences of that as you can see. Um, yeah, things are not looking good. But the good news is I've stopped cutting my hair. I have learned from my mistakes. I'm letting it grow out. Um, the only thing I'm cutting out of my life right now are racists. So, anyways, I just sat down in my car and I saw the remnants of leftover granola bar and it really triggered a memory of, what, like five months ago? It was like the last day that I went to school before this whole pandemic thing really took off. And I was sitting in the parking lot anxiously eating a kind granola bar as one does. And I saw a nun drive past me in a dented Honda Civic and I feel like that that was a sign that was like a vision um it was a warning of what was to come sis was like going 50 through a community college parking lot I feel like she knew bad things were on the horizon she knew <laughs> the lord's work was no longer gonna be done anymore so um I haven't really socialized in approximately four months, so I must apologize for reverting back to my feral state. Um, I just opened this glasses case thinking they were my sunglasses, and they're not my sunglasses at all. Um, these are something straight out of hell itself. Um, I'm assuming these are my brothers. Um, this is the face of a guy who knows how to catch a largemouth bass. This is the face of a guy who you see on Tinder, or like any social media platform for that matter, who's holding a fish in his profile picture and loves to call his mom a fat on the daily. His Tinder bio says something like, Spontaneous. Always down for a good adventure. Love to wrangle me some Atlantic salmon, but I'm ready to wrangle a real woman now. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a red flag. You see this, or those like orange super reflective glasses, like you better run the opposite direction because things are not gonna go down well. This is a fucking warning sign. This is a cry for help. Uh, ladies, we can do better. I don't know what makes women think that a guy who can gently caress a saltwater fish can caress them or treat them right. I don't know. That's just me. I'm sure there's some good people. There's some good Tims out there that wear this type of attire, but I don't know. I guess I'm just projecting because I'm angry at a, a large percentage of the people from my hometown right now. I think there's a raccoon outside my car right now. I keep hearing like a and if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the sound of a raccoon. Um. This is, this is my punishment for going after men who wear these sunglasses. I'm now <laughs> gonna have to fend off a giant raccoon on my way out of my car. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> I don't know if I will survive this. I might end up with rabies by the end of the night. Also, I'm sorry, I wasn't itching my ass. I was just, sometimes I sit with my arm like this. I'm, I promise you, I was not getting a good itch in while listening to the lulling sounds of raccoons. <coughs> well this has been a real hoot and a waste of like everyone's time. Actually the raccoon outside might be getting a scrumptious little meal so maybe not everyone's time was wasted by this. Um anyways I'm gonna go <laughs> fend off a raccoon. Wish me luck. Uh maybe I'll see you next time if I don't die of rabies. I can't promise anything. <laughs> See you later.